what was being an escort like? Like, I didn't even know women got escorts. Yeah. But it's women who are, it's typically women who are mid-30s, career women. Okay. Um, have a hard time finding love. or have, mm -hmm. have a hard, I'd say have a hard time finding the kind of guy they want to be with, mm -hmm. settling down with them. Mm -hmm. Because the guy they want to be with is chasing tail of like the 18, 19, 20 year old secretary. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So my job was really to be that guy, to be that classy gentleman that would wine and dine them. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, that's kind of like, my job was to kind of be that perfect fantasy of like the, the combination between like a gentleman, but still quite uh, sexually deviant mm -hmm. behind closed doors, mm -hmm. like to give them that fantasy they wanted. Mm -hmm. so it was this really, it was a really interesting learning lesson into like female psychology for me. What type of jobs did these chicks do? Was it like lawyer? I I'm thinking of yeah. like lawyers. Yeah, like any 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 like white collar six figure job. Okay. Like lawyers, HR. I actually had a couple of cops. Oddly enough. Really. Yeah. Actually, once here in Britain, I had a I had a British police officer. She okay. was uh yeah just look I guess yeah looking to lose that authority. Okay. In a way, um, I had my best client was this like multi millionaire Chinese lady who ran like a. Uh, I think it was like a plastics manufacturing company back in China. Wow. Super, super interesting. Mm -hmm. And that was, a, that was one of the most interesting experience I got. So she used to fly me out to New Zealand on skiing trips. Mm -hmm. and just We'd spend the weekend together. And it was actually kind of, it wasn't, she wasn't sad, but the story was a bit tearful because she told me that her whole family, every time they interacted with her, because she was the wealthiest one in her family, Deca millionaire, whole time, anytime anyone in her family interacted with her, all they wanted from her was money. Wow. They were trying to get money from her. She couldn't, she was technically married back in China. Um, he was some kind of uh, like high level uh, musician. I don't want to dox anybody. Mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't, it was a marriage of, to save face. It right. wasn't a marriage of love. Mm -hmm. Uh, they'd never had sex. They didn't. They didn't have. They'd it. never. I think they they'd done it. They'd consummated it maybe once or twice, but yeah. it wasn't a relationship that had sex. So she, he was still in China, and she was living in Melbourne. Wow. And the only person in so, she, so because she's married on paper, mm -hmm. she can't be seen dating anybody, right? She can't. She can't go out and meet you know a guy through one of her friends or anything like that. So mm -hmm. she's screwed there. She can't talk, confide in any of her family members because all they want is money from her. The only person she could confide in was her niece, and her niece wanted to be a uh, chef. Her niece, she, she loved food, and so she would spoil her niece by taking her to like five star restaurants all the time, and that was the way of bonding. Mm -hmm. And that, but that she, as she was telling me that story, I was like, man, like it's lonely for like wealthy women. Yeah, it's incredibly lonely. Yeah, because they do they do not have an easy time finding a guy who is like kind of going to be on their level and is going to yeah be like intimate and passionate with them it's really it was a really eye opening experience that one did you ever have women that were married all the time really all the time so they would they were like so i know you just said her but like in like actual marriages where it wasn't just a face yeah and why did they tell you that they hired you mm. they never really would tell me why they hired me it's like verbatim, like I hired you for this. Mm -hmm. It was, but it was more of a case of them. They would talk about the problems they had with their husband, how the marriage was sexless, um, how the passion had gone, and things like this. 